Hey there, Falcon fans. This is Stickster. I decided I was going to do another Falcon from scratch video. I hope you enjoy this. I'm just going to create a new sound and I've just decided randomly to uh, make something that's like, I don't know, atmospheric keys, uh, something that is cool, you know, kind of polysynthy, but I'm looking for something that's maybe a little bit 90s, uh, maybe wavetable based. Uh, but with some atmosphere and texture around it. And uh, I guess I'm just going to get started. We're not on a clock or anything. Uh, I don't know how long this is going to take. We're just going to see what happens. And hopefully the act of doing this while you're watching will kind of make me a little more effective and efficient at what I'm doing. But let's just explore together and see what happens. All right, first thing I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to open up my mapping window and I'm going to drag in a wavetable. And I'm going to use a custom wavetable here. Uh, let's see. I'm going to use this Cetus 5. I'm going to turn the index up. Let's hear what we've got here. Okay, that sounds pretty rich. There's a little buzz in here, but I kind of like it. Uh, I'm going to take the gain down here because generally what happens is as I start putting these things together, they really do pile up quickly and become very loud. So I'm going to take the gain down there. Uh, actually, I might do about minus eight here because I'm going to pull in another wavetable as well. And this one, we're going to take something from the Falcon factory. Um, let's find something to add some, maybe some top harmonics. Let's see what I've got here. Um, Ocean Swift. Nah, I don't like the looks of those. Let's try something that's um, a little bit dirty. Yeah. Ooh, I kind of like that. I'm going to take it down a good bit. Cool. I dig it. Okay. So I'll take the wave index up there as well. And... And let's see, um, I'm going to um, add a couple modulations here. Okay, so we have an amp envelope, uh, an amplitude envelope, but I'm going to change this to DAHDSR. Just gives me a little more control, which is kind of what I want in this in, in this case. Also, we're building kind of a more of a uh, digital type synthesizer anyway. I'm going to take a little bit of the edge off the attack. I don't want that zero. I want something a little bit. A little bit further up. Let's try about four. Okay, I dig that. And put a little bit of a delay on this just so it gives, or decay, excuse me, do a little bit of decay on it. And take these envelopes in a little bit. It gives it a little bit of, a little bit of percussive nature. Kind of digging that. And let's do a little bit of modulation here. So first let me rename this so we know what we're doing here. I'm going to add um, a couple LFOs, I think. And we're going to start with turning the speed down here a little bit and probably put my depth at 50. And we're going to call this wavetable 1 position. And I'm going to take this off retreat. There we go. Just so we got something a little bit active going on. So it's a. Then uh, add another LFO. Probably do a triangle here as well. And take the frequency down a bit.
call this wavetable two position. Oops. There we go. And we're going to apply this to wavetable two. Also taking the trigger off here. Okay, that's pretty cool. We're gonna add. Uh, I'm gonna add some voices here. Spread the waves just slightly. I'm gonna give this central portion. I'm gonna keep more of this towards the middle. I think. mute this other one. Cool. Let me add this other wavetable in. I'm going to mute the first one. Push this one way to the outside. Now when I put them together. Cool. I dig that. Uh, obviously this is going to be a little, uh, it's a little heavy, uh, on the harmonics. So I'm going to add, um, a filter here. Let's grab an expander filter. This is these, this expander filter is great for so many uses. Um, it's almost, yeah, it's almost criminal what you can do with these. There's so many amazing filter modes that you can use, but I'm just going to use for right now. Um, I'm just using this, um, this four pole. Uh, low pass. All right, we're going to want some sort of modulation here. So let's add another um, envelope. Let's call this filter envelope. And we're going to add a little bit of juice here. That's pretty cool. Uh, let's add a little more. We're going to add a little bit of wobble here as well. Um, let's see. We'll use, use like this Lorenz. Keep the frequency up fairly high. And we're going to apply this as well to that cutoff. Turn the... Uh, depth of the modulation way down and we're going to make this not re-triggering okay cool so here how that gives that just a little bit of 
a little bit of uh, extra movement. Okay, cool. Uh, and let's also, um, let's add this envelope also to the resonance. And I'm going to turn this down a bit. And we're going to make this a little more velocity sensitive. And it's just a bit there we there we go that way we're getting a little more a little more juice out of the velocity on the keys and we're going to do the same thing with the cutoff uh let's see i'm going to actually make it so that this cutoff is just a little bit higher there we go. Nice. I dig that. All right. Let's see. What else could we use here? Well, I want to have something atmospheric. I want some texture or something to this. So I'm going to rename this layer. We'll just call this waves. And we're going to add another layer. And we'll call this layer. Um, let's make this something textural. Uh, if I could type, that would be amazing. There we go. And let's add uh, let's add some uh, a texture oscill uh, oscillator here. Um, let me put the mapping, pull that in. Doop, 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 doop. Also, I make my own sound effects. Just so you know, I do that once in a while, so you may hear some of that. Uh, let's see, material. I really like the sandboard light. Let's uh, mute the waves for right now. And. taking the gain down in the spray. I don't like that one as much. Um, let's find something else. Ocean waves. All right, I'm going to turn the sandboard way up. The waves down. And then I'm going to take this oscillator, the overall gain down. <laughs> Now that that texture, obviously, that's that's a lot, right? That's that's really loud for this patch. But uh, we're gonna mess around with this a little bit. Um, turn the uh, turn the gain down a bit, and let's see. I think what I'm gonna do here is to add some diffusion to this. So I'm gonna add a diffuse delay. Turn this down a bit. The diffusion way up. And dampen it down just a bit and turn the crosstalk up. And then we're going to add what I really like to do is get that filter on here as well, even though I've got a different layer. So, what I'm going to do is I could do some surgery here, I guess. It's, um, I think to take to make things easy, let's just grab this um, this filter envelope. I'm going to make a copy and we'll head back over to the texture um, add a add that envelope here. And we're going to paste the setting from the other envelope. Now, why do that without a filter? Of course, we want a filter. So let's add, um, we can add that same filter here. And let's turn off the waves again. Yeah, that's what we're getting. So... All 
Okay. Um, also, I'm not digging the I'm not digging the uh, fact that this amplitude envelope is different. So I'm going to make that a uh, a DHDSR as well. Make it a digital envelope. I'll rename it so we know what it is. And once again, I'm going to go over here to my waves. I'm going to copy and move back to the texture and the amp envelope. And let's paste. All right, subtle, but it's there. I dig it. And let's see. I think on top of all of this, we're going to add some tape echo. I think that would sound nice here. Let's uh, find our tape echo. And I'm going to do, I think, a longer, the longer repeats here. Take the intensity down a bit, and the rate down a bit. Also, I'm going to turn the treble down and a little bit more bass. Just give it a low, a little more low end. Take the mix down. All right, that's a lot. Also, this reverb is too high. All right, I kind of dig it. might like for the waves is for them to have a little bit of a slower attack maybe and I'm going to give that filter just a little digging that and let's let's grab a our good old friend sparkver because why not and a little bit of size and shape I'm gonna turn the pre-delay up a good bit and jack up the density here take the modulation down a bit um i do you know the dark i'm gonna turn the crossover up a good bit and the decay roll off some of the highs here also i'm going to add a good amount of roll off here as well and take the mix down Another thing I'm going to do is within the uh, within the wave tables, I think I'm going to take this cutoff down a, a good bit and maybe just reduce a little bit of that cutoff here. <laughs> down a bit of this resonance too. I 
feel like that noise is a little too loud at the uh with some of the uh yeah with some of the higher uh pitch yeah, it just feels like there's a bit too much of that let me come back to the texture layer here and i think what i'm going to do is just take that whole level that whole layer down Yeah, that's pretty good. I like that. Neato. Uh, I wonder what else we could do with this that might be fun. Hey, something we didn't do here is uh, maybe in the waves area. Uh, I might want to add uh, one of my... One of my usual tricks here, which is just uh, a re-triggered sample and hold with a very low depth. And then we're going to apply this. We'll call this drift. And we'll throw this on to. And we do want the, the oscillators linked here. So I'm going to throw this drift onto the pitch and take that down a good bit. There we go. Just gives it a little, just a little bit more. Uh, gives just a little, a little bit, uh, a little bit of hair uh, by having the notes detuned just a bit. And we might also want to add. Let's see about. I might throw an ensemble five hundred five in here on this layer. There we go. Let's take the mix down a bit. That's not too bad. Um, might try Thoris in here and see if that, I like that a little better. So I've got some cool atmospheric keys now ready to add to a project. All right, this is just a, this is just a quick creation. Uh, you know, if I were going to finish this off, probably the next things I would do uh, would be probably adding um, a little EQ. I think that might sound nice on these uh, on this wave. So uh, let's see, I might throw an EQ on here. And let's... I'm sure, so I'm going to drop a little bit of. Um, um, I always like to put a little bit of a high pass. Uh, pretty low, you know, somewhere in the 30s or 40s. We're not going to really get a lot of useful won't be a lot of useful information down there anyway for the synth and I don't want it to clash when I throw this into a project so that's always nice to do and uh, I feel like giving a little bit of boost out here and instead of a peak I think what I do is a high shelf here without and with yeah it just gives it a little bit of lift uh, out there up in the highs which I like okay
So, uh, yeah, I think so. At this point, if I were going to use this in a project, I probably would start adding some automations and things like that that I could use uh, and control within my track. But this is a great way to um, start a project is just by um, delivering some kind of new sound. And then, you know, from this, I'll probably get an idea of a melody and uh, some parts, and then I'll start a project from that. So let's, uh, before we finish up here, we should probably save this program. Uh, I'm not using any samples, so I can just do a save program. And I'm, uh, I've, I've gotten pretty used to uh, organizing uh, nowadays. So I'll probably throw this into keys and we'll just call this, uh, actually, I'm going to call this um, FFS2 Atmo Keys. There we go. Now this is ready to go. So I hope you enjoyed uh, just sitting in while I created a new sound here. I hope you have a lot of fun with Falcon, and I'll see you next time.